We're with Demon Head Football Coach Jay Thomas, uh, the undefeated Demon Football Coach. Uh, you were undefeated going into the season, and you're still perfect after a win last week at Missouri State playing Southern at home to open up the home season. Let's go back to Missouri State before we go forward to this weekend's game. What made the difference for your team up there last Thursday night? There was a lot of different things in the game that uh, could make, that really made the difference, you know, and obviously, um, you know, if you look at it, it's the character of the team and the maturity level that this team has grown to. And to go up, you know, a trip that far away from home uh, in a, you know, someone else's backyard and then going in and dealing with all the other elements that uh, were unexpected. You know, the heat, the heat in the locker room, uh, no AC in the locker room. You know, our guys didn't gripe, didn't complain about it or, you know, just went out and played the game. And then we were able to overcome the adversity within the game. We got some early penalties that uh, could have really set us back. But, you know, the, the leadership of the team, the older guys, we hung, they hung in there, kept everybody real positive. The defense was pulling for the offense, offense pulling for the defense. So there's a number of things that could credit the win. But, uh, you know, it, there was a point in time in the third quarter, I believe it was, and you know, we converted uh, third and 13, and then we also, you know, came from behind and tied the game with a big play. So that really sparked us. And then, it, you know, it, our old line now, they really, uh, you know, had guys getting overheated and that type of stuff. So uh, they hung in there, man, and guys were moving around, trying to fill in different places and positions they hadn't played before. But, uh, you know, and we managed and found a way to get, get the job done, you know, in the game. So. There's a lot of different things you can look at in the course of the game um, that really helped us. But the biggest thing is our guys rising together to overcome adversity. I know every coach has the standard statement about you make your most improvement from first to second game. And you had an interesting statement on Sunday in which you said it's really longer than that that you make that improvement. But now you have a benchmark. Mm -hmm. Now you've seen and probably confirmed a lot of your impressions and learned a couple of other things you need to learn about this team. Uh, as you said, now we know exactly what we need to work on. Mm -hmm. um, what are those things that you really want to see improve? Well, there was way more positives than negatives, obviously. And uh, the, the biggest concerns are not the big concerns anymore. And um, so now it comes down to tweaking fundamentals, techniques, schemes, that type of stuff and getting better at our schemes, you know. So um, g gave us a great measuring stick where we are. We needed it really, really bad uh, going into this week. And we should see improvement, you know, because the guys got to go against an opponent and do it. And now they go, oh, okay, now I see it in a different light. Uh, know how to fix this. I know how to counter this, all right. So we'll begin that process today at practice getting some of those cleaned up. We got some of it cleaned up Sunday night in, a, in our light workout. But it should, it should begin to pick up as we go through this week. Then, of course, it's, it is a big, you should see the big improvement from week one to week two in some of those areas. Uh, some of it's kicking, you know, some of it's offense, some of it's defense. But um, as we go through the next three, four, and even into the fifth week, we'll continue to work on that, that, that process as we go through. All right, uh, we turn the page to this weekend's game, the Southern Jaguars coming in. Let's talk first in a broad perspective, uh, kind of taking almost the football out of it, mm -hmm. but there are things that relate to your football team. You talked about the clutter uh, and, and the challenges that a home game in general presents, and then a home game against an in-state rival presents. Well, and, and yes, it's a big game. Uh, it's a, it, this is an in-state rival game. And, uh, and, you know, myself, I've been involved in these games quite a bit. But, you know, our, our motto this week, last week was win the road trip. This week is win the week. So you're going to have so many people calling, uh, family members, some of them you may have never even met before, looking for tickets for this game. And, uh, you know, being able to handle that is going to be very critical for our team. Uh, it's only begun. 
it, it'll pick up as the week goes along. So, you know, us staying focused is going to be very, very important in how we handle that, that what we're talking about clutter. And it's not a bad clutter. It's a great clutter. But how we manage that is going to be very important to our success Saturday. And uh, we, we addressed it with the team Sunday. Um, we'll continue to address that today, making sure we're handling that type of business accordingly. And I think our guys are very mature and they've done a really good job so far handling that type of stuff. But, you know, it's a, it's a bigger uh, scope now and you got more things involved in it. And it's going to be a good thing. We just want to make sure it's good, you know, and everybody gets what they need. And, but also make, making sure that we stay on task with what we have to get done. So we'll monitor that. We'll continue to work with the players and hopefully we can get a lot of things taken care of. Uh, I'd like to have it all done by Wednesday night, obviously, but you know, as the fans starting to come in, family, friends come in on Friday, you know, that's going to be the biggest thing, the biggest challenge for our guys is being able to handle that on Friday night and being able to say, hey, you know, I want y'all to have a good time, but I need to get my rest and to get my focus and get ready to play this game Saturday night. All right, let's talk specifically about the football end. While the players at this stage of the week have not seen a lot of tape or heard a whole lot about Southern, the coaches do now know what they need to know, generally speaking, about the Jaguars. Give us a scouting report on this Southern team. Well, I'll tell you what, the first thing that uh, jumps out to me, you know, from the coaching standpoint is these guys are very well coached. Um, I, they're, they're really fun to watch, watch them play. They play, um, play very clean, very aggressive. I like the way their sets on offense are very clean, the uh, way they run the football, they run the football very effective. They throw the football uh, very well. And then defense, they run to the, they run to the ball, they're, they're hustling. You know, the kicking game is very solid. So very impressed and, it, and you know, and it's, it's kind of hard to get a read when they're having to play up and they're playing Houston and those kind of type of uh, teams to really get a read on uh, exactly where they are. But if you look at the score, you know, late in the second quarter, it was pretty close around 13 to nine, something like that. And then, you know, Southern turned the ball over a couple of times, gave Houston some good field position. Um, unfortunate for Southern, but they were right there. And you can see they're, they're very close to being very, very good football team. Very, 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 very close. Yeah. Um, keys to victory are always some very simple things. Is there any one element of the game this week that you can see jumping out at you as something that may be pivotal? Well, again, you know, it goes back to we're going to have to do a good job on defense. And obviously, uh, their quarterback is really, really good, um, strong arm. You know, he can, uh, he can beat you moving with his feet, too. Uh, they do a great job protecting him. Really good receivers, catch the ball, run great routes. And uh, we're going to have to do a great job of tackling in open space. But, uh, and we have to defend the run as well. Uh, we're just going to have to keep the ball in front of us to make plays. And then on the offensive side, we're going to have to move the sticks and, um, you know, be very patient. Their defense is, uh, they, they like to play very similar to the way we play on defense. Uh, they're aggressive, but they also play, keep the ball in front of them and a uh, smart way to play defense. But, uh, you know, just going to have to pick your, you know, your times when you got the opportunity to, to uh, try to get it into a scoring position. So we'll just have to be patient on offense to get that done. Uh, the kicking game, obviously we need to uh, get better in our kicking game. We played pretty much even with that last week. We're looking to improve that area, uh, you know, and try to create some more explosive plays there in, in our kicking phase. All right, with a Northwestern-Southern matchup, there's a lot of fanfare, there's a lot of excitement, and there are two fantastic bands. Yes. Have you ever given any consideration, and I know you can't, but to being able to watch the halftime show as much as you might want to this week? Boy, you know, it's always drawing you out there, man. You know, you want to go watch it. You really do. And you want your players to experience that a little bit. And, uh, you know, with both bands, outstanding bands, so uh, that'll be interesting as well. But we got to stay focused and, you know, uh, that entertainment is for the fans. Um, 
you know, we, we got a job to do, and that's the way we got to look at it. And we'll still be able to hear it, we just won't be able to see it. So uh, we need to get corrections made, that type of stuff, and let's get back out there and, you know, we get to enjoy ourselves after the game. Now, Keelan Johnson, who was in the band in high school until he was a sophomore, says he's going to try to get somebody to tape the band performance. Will you want to watch the tape? Oh, absolutely. I would love to watch it. There's no doubt about it. And, uh, you know, we got a little thing we're going to try to do this week. We got both bands taped and, uh, you know, our songs, their songs, and we're going to play them in the course of the week as we prepare for the game just to get our guys familiar with what type of songs and mm -hmm. who's going to be going on with, within the game. So we'll get to experience some of that, but I would love, I would, ask, I, I would man. You know, sometimes, you, you know, when you're playing, you, you like to sneak out there just for a second. Maybe the coaches, we might meet outside to make corrections so we can sneak a peek, watch a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. Well, hopefully there aren't too many corrections and you could enjoy watching just a little bit more. But in any case, uh, uh, good luck and thanks uh, for the visit this morning. Hey, I enjoyed it. It's yeah. great. Appreciate it. We're with senior defensive end Keelan Johnson of the undefeated Northwestern Demons, 1-0 on the season, and now heading home. Uh, we're playing Saturday night at 6 at Turpin Stadium against the Southern Jaguars. Keelan, before we talk about the Jaguars, that game, and playing at home, let's talk for just a moment about last week and what you learned about you and your teammates up there with the win at Missouri State. I learned we could fight through adversity. I mean, we had a – it was a – we was battling through a lot of circumstances under the heat, you know, being in that hot locker room and coming out, you know, we was under a lot of a lot of pressure winning our first world game and uh, six our first road game and we, we haven't we haven't won a road game in six tries in the past two years. So that was a great experience for us winning our first world game. So it was it's pretty good. Okay, you mentioned not winning a road game in two years. Uh, how about breaking a streak? of 17 unsuccessful road games against non-conference teams dating back to 2005. To get that behind you guys, you know, really to show that it's a new team, a new season, a new approach uh, has got to be encouraging. That was, a, that was a great accomplishment for the team. I mean, it boosted our confidence level up and then it's, it gave us a great, just a great boost going into our home, first home game for the year. So. All right, we are going to turn the page and look forward to that first home game of the year. And you're smiling just thinking about playing at home. Oh, yeah. Why is that? Well, I mean, it's not every day. The Turpin Stadium is always packed out with 20,000 people. So it's going to be a good good experience for the team, for the, for the fans to come out and support us. And it's going, to be a, it's going to be pretty exciting. There are games that you kind of mentally circle each year uh, as you look at them, rivalries and other games that you may have a personal stake in. Always the first game at home is won, and when you're playing a program with Southern's tradition and the tradition of this rivalry, it just really magnifies, doesn't it? It does. I mean, Southern, they're, from what I hear, they're a great, great team. You know, you never underestimate your opponent. Um, coming from an HPC school, you know, I grew up watching them a lot, watching their band a lot. You know, back at home, they used to come play Jackson State a lot. And it was it, it was a great experience watching their band. You know, I, I never did really pay attention to their football team, but watching their band was a great, was, was pretty good. All right, did you ever think I'd rather be in the band marching at halftime than playing during the game? Well, I actually was in the band up until my 10th grade year, and that was, a, that was gonna be a good uh, possible Possible choice for me, but you know, football took over. You know, kind of like the the glory of people knowing me rather than just being out there carrying the horn. So, I mean, football kind of I kind of fell in love with football, but band was was band was up there with it. Okay, now I know you're going to take care of your business Saturday night playing defense in for the Demons, but is there a little party that'd like to be out there watching the halftime show? Oh yes, it is. Every bit of it. I re I really want to see it. I. I, I'm, I'm going to try not to sneak out and see the halftime, so hopefully we get all the our adjustments done at halftime and we can see a little sneak peek of it. you at least grade the film afterwards, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now let's talk about the game. As you said, Southern played University of Houston last week. Uh, that was a tough matchup for them. Mm -hmm. I know you haven't had an opportunity yet to start looking at 
film and that sort of thing and really get familiar with Southern. But you know they're a hungry football team just like us. Didn't have the season last year they wanted. Has a new coach and uh, certainly has some very talented players. So talk about in general the challenges presented to the Demons by the Southern Jaguars. Well, for what I know, they have a really good quarterback named Dre Joseph. He was a good player last year, had over 25,000, well, 2,500 yards passing and over 25 TDs. And he has a good, a good receiver named Lee Doss, which is probably the all-time uh, all uh, SWAC receiver of the year. And, um, well, it's going to be – it's going to be a tough matchup, you know. I mean, you never should underestimate your opponent regardless of what season they had last year. It's a whole new year. So we're going to come into this game pretty focused on our keys and what we have to do to win this game. And this is the kind of game that has been anticipated and will hang with you and you guys because people, there are Southern folks in Natchitoches. There are Northwestern folks in Baton Rouge. And, and as Coach Thomas has said, for all but this week, we're all friends. But now we're competing against each other. So that makes it more fun, but it also makes it more intense, doesn't it? It does. I mean, Southern, you know, they always bring a crowd. They always do. You know, I'm, I'm no, I've known that since I've been back at home in, in Mississippi going to see Jackson State play. You know, Jackson State probably have like probably 10,000 people. Southern bring the rest of the, fill the whole stadium up. So it's going, it's going to be pretty exciting. All right. Let's just switch gears for the one last question. You know I've got to ask you about golf. Um, your guy, Tiger Woods, has played pretty well recently. Is he going to break through and win this FedEx championship? I always have faith in Tiger. I know he's going to pull it through for me. You know, I'm going to be there watching for him when I get a chance to see the highlights of it. But I always got faith in him. He's going to pull it through. Yeah. He's been a little bumpy going in, but he always seems to bring it out. You know, you'll never get the, you'll, you'll always get the best out of Tiger. Keelan Johnson, former Mississippi State golf champion, <laughs> Demon defensive end, thanks. Thank you. Senior receiver Lewis Oye, the Demon football team, the undefeated Demon football team, uh, coming off the season opening win at Missouri State, getting ready to play the Southern Jags here Saturday night in Turpin Stadium. How does it sound when you hear the undefeated Northwestern football team? Oh, it sounds great. It's, it's uh, like words can't describe, you know. Uh, I've been through a lot since I've been here. And, for, you know, for us to get our first win on the road, you know, our opener, it, it's, just, it's just a great feeling, fantastic feeling. Okay, let's talk about what the difference was for the Demons last week. What, how did you guys win that game? What made the difference? Uh, just all the hard work we put through, uh, you know, this summer, like the guys, we worked really, really hard, you know, and we had it on our mind, you know, you know, we want to be good this year, you know. I think we, we had to fight through a lot of things, you know, we got down at one point in the game, but I looked around the sideline, nobody had their heads down, you know, I could just tell we were very confident that we were going to come back and win this game. So I think that's what it was, just the confidence we played with this game. For this uh, team, what, how, how critical was that win? I, I think it was very critical, you know. Um, like I said, you know, we haven't won a road game in I don't know how long, you know, it's, it's a while. So I think to really get that win, you know, it took a lot off our backs. And I think now we just play football, you know, since we got this first win, it's going to be very easy for us. Yeah, as Keelan Johnson pointed out, um, first road win in more than two seasons. And here's one that boggles your mind. It had been 17 games on the road against non-conference opponents dating back to early 2005 since we'd won an out-of-conference road game. So it's got to give you guys a great sense of pride to have achieved that and kind of shown that, hey, we're turning over a, a new leaf and this is a new, different team than you've seen in the past. Yes, sir. Had, you know, like 17 games, that's, that's a lot. That's, that's a long time. And for us to really get this win, <clears throat> it's, just, it's just great. You know, like I said, it took a lot of pressures off of, you know, and like it built a lot of confidence. It really did. And I feel that's going to help us throughout the season. All right. There was a lot of talk in preseason and a lot of speculation and a lot of the unknown about the Demon offense. We finally got to see it against another team. It was fast tempo. It was productive. Tell us, tell people who didn't see that game what they missed. What are they going to see Saturday night from the defense? Yeah, uh, the, the offense, is, you know, is a very fast tempo. You know, it, it's, it's a lot of bullets flying, you know. You know, very exciting to watch. Very exciting to watch. It, it, was, it, was a, it was fun, you know. I really enjoyed it. But it's, it's a different offense from last year. But it's going to be something to see. And it's, it's, it's a fun offense to watch. It really is. All right, let's look ahead to this game Saturday night. And first, the bigger picture, more broad scene. 
It's two in-state teams that have a history, have a good tradition. This will be the 11th time they've met. And uh, two, t two campuses that are three hours apart, a lot of uh, relationships. And you're a guy who grew up an hour from Southern, and so you know, you're f certainly familiar with the Jags. And uh, talk about all of the things outside of football that make this an appealing game. Uh, it's, just, it's just like two inner school states playing, you know, it's always big, it's always big. And, you know, the rival we have, you know, suddenly they always bring a great crowd, a great crowd. So it's, it's going to be a fun atmosphere, you know, very exciting, you know. You know, people have been talking about this game for a long time, like since they scheduled, everybody's talking about, oh, I can't wait to see this game. And, you know, now it's fine here, you know, the emotions are starting to build up. So it's going to be very, very fun. Now, you have seen Southern football through the years, so you know they're usually pretty good defensively. Yeah. You're an offensive player. Talk about the challenges you expect Saturday night. Uh, they have a very fast point on defense, um, you know. They, it's just, just so athletic, you know. It's hard to play teams that have so much athletic ability, you know. So we have to really be on point where, I, you know, our assignments and just, just, you know, focus up and just have fun out there as we play. What are you going to tell your younger teammates? And there are a lot of guys will be playing their first home game as Demons. What are you going to tell them about how to approach Saturday? Just relax. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of distractions, especially our first home games. You have a lot of distraction uh, off the field, but just stay focused on the field. You know, don't let everybody, you know, get into your head. Just, just relax, play a game, listen to what you got to do, and just have fun and relax out there. That's the biggest thing. One thing that's going to be big is tickets. How many tickets do you got to come up with this week? Uh, a bunch. <laughs> yeah, a bunch. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to do, you know, because so many people want tickets, but I, you only can get so many, but, you know, it'd it be all right. <laughs> all right, I asked uh, Keelan, who was in the band in high school, and, and what about you? Um, are you a guy who would probably like to sneak out at halftime if you could and sit there and watch the halftime? Uh, not, not too much. You know, I, I'm, I'm so focused on winning the game. You know, that's what's important to me right now, just winning. But it, it, it wouldn't hurt to hear a little bit, but if I don't, I, I won't mind. But I just want to win. That's it. Just win. But if Keelan gets the tape of the halftime show, are you going to watch it? Yes, I definitely watch it. I definitely watch it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks, Lewis. <laughs>